hello <laughs> if you're wondering what happened to my nose first of all um <laughs> just popping my pores um so we're gonna be doing from mole rat to 2021 insta baddie okay makeup tutorial hair tutorial just a transformation basically okay guys so we're gonna begin this transformation um by the way i think every single woman deserves to treat herself go to the spa or have a spa day at home or have a glam day do your makeup feel good about yourself you know i haven't worn makeup like in two weeks girl okay <laughs> i've been going through it um and i just want every woman to know out there to treat yourself and you'll feel better and you are worthy and yeah that's kind of why i'm doing this video um to just get glam transform myself and just feel better about myself so as i'm looking like rudolph the red-nosed reindeer <laughs> i was using a face razor and I was really going in on my nose because the pores were coming out and also satisfying and now we look like this but that's okay like all right so i'm gonna use my little clippies i get these from marshall's by the way um they come in like a pack for three dollars they're so bomb i cannot live without them one of you guys actually bought them at marshall's and sent me a picture and it was so cute i love you guys y'all are so cute um so for my first step, I'm going to be taking my CeraVe um, Skin Renewing Night Cream. This is so bomb. If you want your foundation to look really good, use a night cream. And it's just going to look so plump and flawless. It's going to look bomb. Oh my god, not Rudolph the White Red Nose Reindeer. Also, I use aloe vera on my skin for my skincare routine. It is so, so good for your skin um i definitely see a difference like when i put it on at night and then i wake up the next morning my skin is glowing it's more even next i'm gonna put on eye cream um i know kylie's skin is so um what's the word problematic i don't know <laughs> How can a skincare line be problematic? I don't know. I guess it is. But I like this eye cream because it gives a yellow tint. I really do like it. I like it. It's so crusty. I do not use this applicator. It's too harsh. Use your ring finger. As you can see, it's yellow. And it kind of acts as a concealer. So let's say you don't like to use makeup. Let's say you're like a glossier type of girl. Um, I recommend this for you because it's a huge difference. Like when I don't want to wear makeup because I'm just lazy or whatever, then I will put this on real quick and it really does make a big difference. Alright guys, so next I really have to pluck my brows. Um, I changed the shape of my eyebrows and it looks like I got Botox. I did get a little bit, you know, by my eyebrows to like lift and I, I, I do love it, but I also changed the shape of my brows. I have a little TikTok tutorial on how I did it, um, and it makes a huge difference. Definitely lifts your face up more. So yeah, I'm just going to pluck my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I found the jar. <laughs> I really wanted to show you guys. This is the Lip Therapy Vaseline um, Lip Balm Jar. As you can see, girl, I vacuumed this. I ate this. So if you have lip filler, don't use any lip balm because it can dissolve the lip filler. Um, has some kind of effects, I'm not sure. Um, but I recommend this if you have lip filler or put some coconut oil on them, something natural. But go ahead and buy yourself this from Walgreens. I'm going to be going in with the Revitalift Pure Retinol Night Serum. Night creams and night serums make your foundation look really good. I got this tip from Harouche. I learned a lot of like my makeup stuff from Harouche or Ariel. They got some good tips. So I'm just going to put it kind of like right here. 
I love this. This is so underrated. Like, it gives a natural highlight. Also, if you don't want to wear makeup, you know, if you're that type of girl, which I cannot relate. I'm a 2016 full face B <laughs> type of gal. But this is bomb. So I'm going to be taking my favorite beauty blender. This is the e.l.f. beauty blender. My favorite. Don't buy... Don't spend $20 on a sponge, okay? <laughs> also, the Real Techniques beauty sponge, I thought that was like a really good beauty blender. But when I bought this one, I was like, oh no. The Real Techniques one is a little bit too hard and it kind of gets crusty. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Alright, so for foundation, I get this question a lot, like what foundation I'm wearing. And I'm usually wearing either the Fit Me Matte and Poreless or I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation, the matte one. I'm going to be using the Maybelline one today and I cannot choose which one I like more. I've been using the Wet n Wild one since high school and it just makes you look like a doll, like filtered. It's so beautiful. I love it. Um, they def these foundations definitely are like full coverage, porcelain doll type of finish. So if you like more of like a luminous glow, you won't like these foundations. But me personally, I like to be like full B. So I'm going to be going in with the 310 Fit Me Maybelline. Um, I never use a brush for a foundation but i just feel like it's so professional when i see people use like a brush for their foundation and i really want to try it out but i don't know how um but i'll watch some makeup tutorials okay now i'll figure it out <laughs> this one girl on tiktok she uses a bristle brush for her foundation i'm like how how maybe they use it first and then they do the the sponge oh my god i am so excited for halloween because i really want to show you guys like the cool makeup looks that i can do because i just show you like natural everyday glam and i really really want to show you guys like what i can do you know like face painting all that stuff i cannot wait um i really want to be no, I cannot tell you guys who I'm going to be for Halloween because it is a surprise. But if you want to tell me in the comments, let me know. Oh yeah, comment anything you'd like down below. Um, I respond to every single comment. Every single comment I respond to. So please comment down below and I'll, of course like and share and subscribe to my channel so that I could keep making videos for you guys. And you know, stay motivated. So next up is concealer. This is so hard to pick for me because I have so many favorite concealers. Um, I have so many favorites. I'm going to show you guys my favorite concealers because I get this question a lot. Um, like on my TikTok lives, you guys ask me what concealer I'm using, what are my favorite concealers. So I'm just going to show you like all my favorite ones. All right, honeys. So my favorite is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Not the hydrating one, just the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I don't know if it's matte. I think it is matte. Um, So love this one. So full coverage. I have it in a few shades. Um, And then I also have the ColourPop, which is really good. This is super, super white. And I bought the like really white one on purpose just to put a tiny amount right here and right here. The tiniest, tiniest amount. But of course, you could also get your shade. And then um, the Age Rewind is really bomb, really blendable. But my absolute favorite is the Kylie creamy concealers they're so blendable so bomb they were on sale so i bought so many <laughs> i bought so many of them and i'm i don't think she sells them anymore but i'm pretty sure she's gonna come out with them again with her new brand i haven't even tried her new brand yet guys because i swear i did not even open look at this i have a whole ulta bag and I didn't open a single thing in it because I want to save it for my YouTube video. I want it to be really, really good. So, you know, I want to get my nails done, get rid of this black 
black fingers and I just wanted to be a really good video and I got so many of her lip kits um, and a few other of her products. Um, and I'm going to be doing a full honest review and we're going to be comparing it to the old as well. But I swear, I it's not just because I like Kylie. You can also look up um, reviews and stuff. People love this concealer. It's bomb. So I think I'm going to be going with this shade Shell. Because um, I want like a really dramatic change, if that makes sense. Because we're going for a transformation. So, you know, we don't want to look natural today. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see a hair tips, hair, like, my whole hair, um, I don't know, like, routine or, like I said, tips. Because I have a lot, a lot of little secrets, little beauty secrets for your hair. So let me know down below in the comments, yes or no, if you want me to film that for you. And then I'm going to blend out my concealer with these little e.l.f. mini sponges. It comes in a trio pack. I highly recommend buying this. Like, voila, this is so good. Voila. This is so, so, so bomb. Don't buy the Real Techniques. Buy the right, e.l.f. So I just wet it. And oh my god, they're just so fluffy and soft. And this is the other one that I normally would use. I should be sponsored. <laughs> oh my god. And you see how it just blends so effortlessly? Amazing. Look at how cute my heart. My little heart mirror. It's so cute. The batteries are running low. So it's not as bright, but that's okay. All right, so I would say all right. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how I do the little trick with the white concealer. And let me know in the comments what is like your thing that you like to do when you just want to make yourself feel better. Like what is it going to the gym? Is it doing your makeup? Is it seeing your family? Let me know in the comments. For me, I like to like get my hair done, my nails done, glam, and just also just see my family, you know? But girl, I see them all the time every second because I live with them, so. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you like to do when you want to just feel better, you know, like you are in a funk and you just want to feel better let me know in the comments what it, what it is that you do that just makes you happy makes you feel happy so as you can see i put it like literally only right there let me get my little mirror there and then right there all right, so another thing you guys really, really want to know on my um, TikTok live is what translucent loose powder do I use? So I'm going to show you. This is the best. It smells really strong and like very florally, but it's worth it. It's so bomb. No flashback, no cracking, no nothing. It's perfect. I'm pretty sure there's more colors, but I just got the translucent one. I recommend just getting translucent, you know, unless you are a darker shade. And my second favorite powder, so this is first place, but my second favorite is, or actually they're very close to each other, is the Lasting Fix Banana Powder. I love banana powder, okay? I love it. And this is so bomb. Also very, very smooth, no flashback. Um, and it looks like an Instagram filter. Like, when I wear this, I look like an Instagram filter girl. Like, in real life, it's so, so good. Um, before I set my under eyes, I actually want to try out cream contour. I never really do this because, I don't know, like, it's just not for me. But let's try it out. I bought these Fit Me um concealers i don't like this for under my eyes because it's too natural looking but if you like that like creamy it's very like a nars concealer vibe it's good but it's not like full coverage you know 
So let's try out this shade. This is shade 50. And I'm going to put it up here. I do not know what I'm doing. I, th I think I'm going to use this as like a bronzer. Because I saw girls like use a lot and just go all over their face. So let's do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it on my temples that don't exist. I have no temples. Oh my god, I found my twin on TikTok. Her name is Get Ready With Me Makeup. I love her so much. And the amazing thing about social media um, is you just meet so many people that are like you. And it's so amazing. She's so nice. We're going to go live together and do our makeup. I'm excited for that. She also has no temples. We have the same face shape. So that's how we bonded on TikTok. And we use the same hair dye. I'm gonna do my nose like that. Should I contour my nose? Let's do it. I never contour my nose. Because I feel like it makes it look bigger. So here's how, here's how I'm gonna do it. Never contour the sides of your nose. That's what I know. You have to go like all the way on top. How do you guys contour your nose? Because there's so many ways. I try to make it as straight as possible. Oh no. I tried. And I'm connecting it to my eyebrow. Um. So clearly I don't know how to do this. I think I just did too much here. I don't know. I don't know, but I know how to fix it. <laughs> concealer so i'm going to be taking my kylie not the one that we use for under our eyes but the one that looks more like my face like more natural which is um stone and i'm gonna be going in there's so much makeup on my face because i'm like i don't know i'm just trying to be more adventurous here we're definitely painting our face today. Like, we are face painting. And once I, like, learn how to underpaint and all that stuff, I'll make a video. But I don't know how yet. So, girl, don't ask me just yet. <laughs> we're learning together. And then we're gonna do it here. And let me show you how I do it. So, I go from here and I do a little C. Is that a C? Girl, I don't know. I didn't go to school. And the shade is Pink Flush 300. I'll give you a little close up. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. And it has a sheen. It doesn't have a sparkle glitter. I hate glitter in any products, honestly. This just has a sheen, like a healthy sheen, if that makes sense. I put my blush all the way up here by my eye. And then I drag it like this up here. I also put it over here so that everything is married together. So that your face doesn't look separated, if that makes sense. Like you want everything to match and go together. And then I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose, the very tip. And it really does give it a lift. Okay, I am literally so out of breath, bitch. Let me take my water. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows now. Um, I'm going to first spoolie them up. Also, pretty please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Julia underscore C H M I E L L. So, this is my favorite brow pencil in the whole world. This is the Ultra Slim um, Brow Pencil by Maybelline, and I get the shade black. And if you have black hair, you know the struggle of finding a good eyebrow pencil. Um,. Because I don't like warm colors in my brow pencil. Like, I want it to be black, you know? No espresso, cocoa, chocolate in there. No, I want it to be completely soft black. 
look at how bomb and it looks crazy right now here but you'll see in the end okay you, you will see in the end just trust the process and then what i do here is i go with the brush strokes underline and then the spoolie is like the most important part honestly and y'all already know what i'm gonna use for my eyebrows just so crusty someone please make a product where it's like you know i'll make one i'll make a brow product and do you guys want a q a for my next video that's why you gotta follow me on instagram link in description at julia underscore miel with an extra l because um i'm gonna do a poll and you guys will answer it and then I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. Okay, we're finally moving on to the eyes. And I want to try something different and use cream contour for my shadow today. I know it's going to be creasing and stuff. Wait, no, we're just going to set it. We're going to be using the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade 50. And then I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go like that, literally, and I'm gonna kind of outline wherever I want the shadow to be, so I kind of want to, you know, extend it, oh my god, I like it, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is clean it up with my translucent powder, my beauty blender, and I'm gonna stamp it by my eye just a little stamp and i'm honestly just gonna let it sit All right next there. i'm gonna be taking jasper from the kylie bronze palette i loves it and then a little round brush and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be um doing like a subtle cut crease very very subtle i love this shade because it really opens up my eyes. Now I'm going to be doing eyeliner and I'm pretty bad at it. Um, I'm going to be taking the Sub and Glory liner. And I'm just going to go for it basically. Okay, so these are my favorite lashes in the whole, whole, whole wide world. It's the number 8 Fiber, 1000 Fiber Count Ailer Lashes. Dude, they're so beautiful. I love them. Okay, so my lashes are on, and I'm gonna use this highlight. It's called the Stila Kitten Jelly Highlighter. I love it. It's a very radiant glow i'm gonna put it right there and right there and then i'm gonna put just a little bit right here just the tiniest amount all right so now i'm gonna do my lip combo which we're going to do something different. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Contour Palette. And we're going to use like a skinny-ish flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the middle shade. It doesn't really matter, honestly. And then make sure it's warmed up, if that makes sense. So you could warm it up on your hand or whatever. And then I'm going to go under here. I need more. Take some more. Dust some more. Dust some more. I like to go from here and we're gonna 
over. Mm -hmm. For my lipstick, I'm taking 90 Style from KKW and I'm just blending. And then I'm going to be taking Nude 1, KKW Lip Liner. And then the key ingredient is the um, Juicy Lip Tart Strawberry. It's like a lip tint. And you just want the tiniest amount in the middle. Because it's really red. you want some color mm -hmm. all right so now we're gonna oh, I cannot wait curl my hair um, I'm gonna be using my favorite curling wand I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna go um, film the whole thing of me curling my hair because this video will be way too long but I'm gonna show you my favorite curling iron is the plug-in GED from Sally's because it's so smooth. I don't like um is it Titan ti Titanic Girl, the Titanic? Titanium Titanium Girl, I don't know. But the plates that are shiny, because they really ruin my hair, make it dry. Like I could see a difference. And these are ceramic plates. Um, I got this from Sally's. Get any type of curling iron that's ceramic plate. And look at how smooth. It's much smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair and I'll be right back. All right, honeys. So this is the transformation. Yes, queen. Yes. From mole rat to Instagram baddie transformation, okay? Um... Also, thank you so much if you made it this far. Please subscribe. Please, please comment, like, and share. It would mean the world to me. I love you. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world.